Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to another Explorer video. So today we're going to be taking a look at Zombie Rally the Ancestors combo deck, but with a little bit of a spice added onto it, we're playing Tyvar the Jubilant Brawler and Fiend Artisan in the deck. So if you're not familiar with this combo, this is a combo deck that tries to just ping away at your opponent's life total using things like Rally the Ancestors and Return to the Ranks, getting back things like Corpse Knight and Wayward Servant into dealing a massive amount of damage when they come back from the graveyard onto the battlefield. So with that said, the Type R the Jubilant Brawler is an interesting addition to this archetype. Now, as you can see from the deck overview, we have way too many two drops in the deck. So that means if Type R does a minus two, not only does it mill so that it gives synergy to rally the ancestors and return to the ranks, but it also puts a card from the graveyard onto the battlefield, almost guaranteed since we just have way 21 drops and two drops. Since the deck actually doesn't really care about putting cards into the graveyard, we also have Priest of the Forgotten Gods, which also gets haste through Tyvar's passive ability. You may activate abilities of creatures you control as though those creatures had haste. So if you can get back a Priest of the Forgotten Gods, for example, It'll have haste immediately, letting you sacrifice two additional creatures into dealing two damage, and then you get two mana back if you have two white sources left over, then you can rally the ancestors or return to the ranks into getting more creatures back onto the battlefield. And you can also untap using the type Arse ability, untapping the Priest of the Forgotten Gods, doing it again, making opponents sacrifice a creature, dealing two additional damage, getting additional two mana back for that turn. So Tyvar is a pretty sweet card, although it is a green card. We did have to make the mana base slightly awkward, but it's not really a problem because of mana confluence and the new addition of Razor Verge Thicket from the Fraxia OB1, which means that now we have 16 sources of white, 16 sources of green, and way too much black mana. And not to mention, it does kind of make the sideboard a little bit better since you can play something like Kanker Bloom, for example, which you can get back from the graveyard onto the battlefield using Tyvar. And lastly, there's some very, very minor synergy in the deck, untapping your creatures, letting you sometimes get an additional draw with Crypt Breaker. But speaking of untapping a creature, there's one more card that we added into the deck called, which I did mention before, called Fiend Artisan. Fiend Artisan is a pretty interesting one. It is not a zombie, so it doesn't combo with Wayward Servant when it comes onto the battlefield, but it does still combo with Corpse Knight since Corpse Knight does ping away your opponent because it just says another creature, not a zombie. But the idea with this card is that since you're going to be filling your graveyard with things like Stitcher Supplier, Tyvar for example, or just naturally creatures dying and going to the graveyard, Fiend Artisan will grow and Fiend Artisan will grow very tall. So that's kind of the alternate window condition. This is similar in vain to Diagraph Colossus. But the additional bonus here is that you can sacrifice a creature using Fiend Artisan's ability, which also has haste if Tyvar is up in the battlefield. Then you can get back things like Stitcher Supplier into filling your graveyard a little bit more. And then you can return to ranks or rally the ancestor for a little bit more creatures. So that's kind of the idea with the deck. And with that said, I'll be playing some non-ranked games in the Explorer queue. And the reason why I am playing non-ranked is because right now there is a critical bug. There's probably a lot more, right? There's a crowbar bug. There's also the kunai bug. And there's also an Emrakul bug at the moment. And the kunai bug is there's a card called Ninja's Kunai at the moment. You can just one shot your opponent as early as turn three. One of the reasons why the Explore metagame challenge has shut down as a result and it's going to come back on April 8th. But I've already ran into some people playing the kunai in the ladder and hence we're just not going to play ranked for the moment. But with that said, let's hop on over. Okay. Is this the God Hand? Oh my god. I mean, if it was a God Hand, there would be a... Either Rally the Ranks or... Return to the Ranks as I say that. Okay. Okay, that was an incredibly bad mill. What the heck? Go 
Goblins. El Goblino. Uh, Priest? I guess. So Priest here. And then we play Corpse Knight, Sacrifice, maybe Tyvar, get back something again. Okay, they have a lot of damage. It's kind of get getting scary. Um, okay, Crypt Breaker. Sacrifice both of them. Play the Corpse Knight. Huh. Because this is kind of awkward because Priest only has two black mana. I think we just pass like this so that we can block and then sacrifice the priest. Oh wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Um, block. Block, block. It's unfortunate we're gonna have to sacrifice a priest mana, but... Not much you can do. Gotta tap these zombies first to draw a card. Hmm. The champion of the parish is not bad. Oh, that's actually so good. Wait, that's actually so perfect. Because one drops in this deck because of the Priest of the Forgotten Gods. It just uh, refunds you the mana you spent. So we play these two. And what I'm going to do is... Um, because I'm not really sure if we're going to... we. I'm not even sure if we have enough damage to kill them, right? 15. So I think what I'm going to do is... If we have lethal, we have lethal. If we don't, we're going to return, rally the ancestors. Since rally is an instant speed card, let's uh, take advantage of that. The opponent's going to attack all here, not knowing what's about to unfold. Oh. Okay, give me the good stuff. Stitcher. I'm into milling. Nothing. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's totally okay. The priest gives you additional mana. Now we have enough to cast the Rally the Ancestor. into getting back literally everything. And there's the triggers. That's a lot of... <laughs> that's a lot of triggers. Yep. So we couldn't get there, but 
We should be able to annihilate their board here pretty easily. Block their... Now the Runvelt Hormaster... Killing the Runvelt Hormaster is going to actually reduce the size of the creature, so... We can just block one toughness and most of the creatures will die as a result, like a Cascade. So I'm pretty sure this will actually annihilate their entire board and they surrender. Easy game. Ooh, we have a pretty sick hand. Prip Breaker into Lazatop Reaver. Control deck. Hmm. Don't do it. Leave my Crypt Breaker. Ooh, okay. Opponent's playing Heroic, Azorius Heroics. Kinda cool. Okay. Homestead Courage. Well, we do have infinite blockers, so there is that. So hopefully with infinite blockers, we should be able to get there. Do they have like some kind of like an evasion card? Okay, I shouldn't have. I spoke too soon. Security bypass will allow them to attack. Oh, they also get a lifelink. Uh, we do place four copies of removal in the deck. Alongside with Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Man, that's pretty nasty. Oh. Wait, that actually does it, right? So Stitcher Supplier and another Stitcher Supplier will actually get me enough to Dark Salvation for six. So you target this and target that. Now that's dead. Hopefully they don't have another security bypass. The opponent's going to be scrying a lot though, so... We gotta like find either an answer or like a return to the ranks or rally, something like that. Look. And draw two. We're actually getting so low on life. Hello, deck? Any non-lands? Okay, there goes all the non-lands. <laughs> A 
Come on. Okay, I'm gonna tap three to see if I can get rally here. No rally. Feels bad. Come on, deck. You can do it. Show me the money. Another Illuminati Virtuoso. I'm actually gonna block with Champion of Parish, I think. Because I really want to draw into a, a combo piece and I, I'm kind of afraid of like milling my combo piece right now. Okay, Priest is a good draw. Potentially. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same. Try to draw into um, Virtuoso here. Not Virtuoso, I mean Return to the Ranks or Rally. Man, just hiding, huh? Just hiding somewhere in the dark. We're 20, more than halfway into the deck. We still don't have our combo piece. Oh no, they have March. No, I didn't even think about that. Okay, they, they got me with their hidden tech. GG's. Double rally and a Tyvar. Oh wow. Energy? In this economy? I guess opponent's trying to uh, combo off with the, um, what is it called, the uh, Emrakul. Although you... So, I actually wanted to play an Emrakul deck. But, um... Emrakul is... There's a weird bug right now. If you take a turn using the Emrakul, and if the opponent does concede in the best of three setting, I heard that you time out. Because there's no logic written for best of three when opponent concedes when you're taking control of their deck. So, uh, yeah, just be careful if you're playing Emrakul in best of three. There's just so many bugs right now. Okay, we only have... Okay, we have four, actually. We might actually be able to combo off soon. Because we can sacrifice the priest... And using the two mana, we rally the ancestors. But I'm not sure if that's actually enough to kill them. So I think, um, let's see. Is there a way to play Tyvar and Dark Salvation here?
I don't think so, right? Because I was thinking like uh, maybe priest play the tie bar on tap and have two creatures up for Emrakul, but I don't think that's possible. I mean, if opponent plays Emrakul next turn. Okay, well, well, let's keep milling. We can win. Might as well attack, right? So is opponent about to show me Emrakul? Let's see. Etherworks Marvel. Spin the wheel. Wow, they actually got it. Okay, that's interesting. Um... Opponent said 14 life. They already messed up. So the best thing they could have done is cast two Rally the Ancestors for zero. Because this way... Now I still have Rally the Ancestor. And um Yeah, that's gonna kill my opponent. Everything goes to graveyard. Which is uh fantastic. Right? And I think they're dead. <laughs> oh my god. There's way too much. <laughs> it's so funny when you combo off and it asks you, hey, did you have fun? <laughs> of course I did. It seems like nobody actually wants to play best of three. They're queuing up for best of three, but if they lose just a slight bit of momentum, they will surrender both games. I'm confused. We, we have a whole sideboard. Like, come on now. Come on now. But this hand looks pretty promising, which is oven, sure. Jund. Let's go with Wayward Serpent first because uh, Mana Confluence is kind of taking us down. I don't think they have Fatal Push. I think it's, this is just a Witch's Oven. I think so.
We have both rally and return, which is kind of cool. That's fine. I'm actually surprised they didn't take Champion of the Perished. Uh, can I get a land, please? A land would be fantastic. No? Okay. Wow, so Blatite Harvester can't kill anything now? Okay, they just had another one. I feel like they should have also attacked with the Harvester here. Can I get a land, please? No? Okay. Definitely double claim the firstborn doesn't feel really good, but... We can actually return to the ranks next turn to get back these two cards. Nope. I need these two cards so I can dar dar uh, return to the ranks. Okay, never mind. Hmm. This two lander business has to stop, though. I've been at two lands for way too long. made a mistake there. Nice. So we can rally. Play this out. Rally for two. I mean, return to ranks for two. Back to 10. Then we're gonna block Mayhem Devil. Then we're gonna rally. No. Two cars in the graveyard. So we're gonna get, just return two cars anyway, so we should just do this. This is going to deal so much damage.
Boop, boop, boop. Draw a card. Okay, so they, they want to probably kill the Crypt Breaker? What am I seeing? Now, I don't suppose I can kill them this turn, right? Uh, one, two, three, four. That's four creatures coming into the battlefield. Uh, no, it says another zombie. So this this one was seven. You know what? I'll just do it next turn. I I'm I'm too dumb to uh figure this out. Oh, my bad. Okay, let's just uh, do Rally the Ancestor for two. I'm pretty sure this is lethal. Okay, it's not. How did I mess up? Mess up? Wait, how did that not kill them? Okay, Fatal Push in. Uh, Kanker Blooms in, Right Oblivion in. I mean, what about Thoughtseize? I'm not sure. Probably not. I don't know. Priest is actually really bad against their deck because they can uh, steal it. They also have Mayhem Devil. You definitely want nothing of that sort. And the not last card will have to cut. Maybe something like that. Let's milling. This is gonna hurt. Okay, good draw. I hope they play Mayhem Devil and pass. Nice. Now we can kill it. Witch's Oven. Okay, that that will have to go. I think we have to Kinker Bloom that. Right. 
Rally the Ancestor. Okay, well... So let's get rid of the oven before they can untap with it. So now there's three cars in the graveyard. Fiend Artisan is kind of fat, actually. The 4-4. Four, four. Ivar, what? This will make a thrilling tale. Were they playing like Mayhem Devils, Witches of, and like Claim the Firstborn? Like, I guess they can sacrifice the Blood Tithe Harvester and get it back again. Guess that's something that they can do. Corpse Knight, Crypt Breaker, Canker Loom. This will fill the graveyard. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, that was a terrible mill. What the heck? Where's my Tyvar? Mayhem Devil. What a draw. What a draw? We do have this rally, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get there. There's not that many cars in the graveyard. We could sacrifice the Fiend Artisan. I mean, we could sacrifice a creature to find a um, Stitcher supplier. Maybe we could we can do that. We still have two in the graveyard. Also, two claim the firstborn in the graveyard is a good sign. Very, very good sign.
Canker Bloom or Fiend? I think we should play the Canker Bloom because if they have another claim the firstborn, it's gonna be kind of weird, right? They might actually kill us. So seven cards in the graveyard. We have Wayfinder, Corpse Knight, Corpse Knight, Stitcher, Kinker Bloom, Corpse Knight. We have four. We might be able to kill them. Okay, let's do the math properly this time. One, two, three. So this is dealing three. Stealing six, nine, twelve. Sixteen. Canker Bloom is only dealing what? Wait, hold up, hold up. Oh my god. I hate this math. I hate it. Uh... One, two, three, four. Okay, so th this is dealing three, six, nine, twelve. So right now we have 12 damage. But the Corpse Knights... This is another creature, so... We have 3 Corpse Knight and 1 Wayward. So this is dealing... 16 total... Uh, 19... 23... 27... Okay, they're dead. Hopefully. Wait, what? R wrong one. Okay, don't fail me. Don't fail me, math. This is rudimentary math. Yes! <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Finally, we got somebody. Okay, so... We played four games. We went three and one. Um, I will say that... <laughs> I kind of blanked out. Um, I used Dark Salvation on a creature when... Um, they had a creature that they can pump and... Couldn't register in my brain that they could just pump it, you know. That was against the Rakto's mid-range. We went one and two there. But we got to see a pretty cool game versus a sacrifice, a Jun sacrifice deck. So that was pretty cool. Now, again, just um, if you didn't see the intro, just to reiterate why I'm not playing ranked right now is because there's just so many bugs at the moment. So currently there is a bug with this card. Um, letting you deal like 30 damage in turn three or something. And that's like one of the reasons why... Um, this is happening right now. Any player exploiting this bug to boost rank or win events will face temporary suspension and the loss of any ranked base qualification. And I'm sure if people were abusing this in the events too, like they will probably reset your gold and gems to zero as well. So yeah, definitely don't do this. Um, they've also postponed the Explore Metagame Challenge to April 8th, which is quite far. It is still the 23rd. So, wow. Are they not going to be fixing this until the 8th? I don't, I don't know. So I decided to play non-ranked today. And nothing too serious. It's a, it's a little fun brew. And honestly, I thought the green splash might be a little bit weird. We didn't see much of Tyvar. Um, Tyvar would have been pretty good if Tyvar did show up. But, but Fiend Artisan, for example. Oh my god. This is kind of cool in this deck because 
or trying to abuse Taiva, right? And this happens to be a two mana card. So there is a zombie that synergizes with Graveyard called Diagraph Colossus. This is a three mana instead. And this is three mana card. Wish it was two, then we would have definitely been able to play this, but we'll just have to make do with Fiend Artisan here for now. Fiend Artisan is kind of cool, although it's not a zombie, but it can get you Crit Breaker, Stitcher Supplier, right? At the right moments. If you have Return to Ranks or Rally the Ancestor, it's a good time to fetch Stitcher Supplier. If you're running out of cars, it's a good time to fetch just a Crit Breaker, things like that. So yeah, Fiend of Artisan was a pretty cool addition. Although I can't really seem to fit more than two copies of it. Um, if you don't have Bradley the Ancestor, um, you can easily just play like a Return to Ranks or... Yeah, you, you can just go either or, honestly. But I've decided to do two and two here because um, if you don't have the combo and... If you don't have enough cards to win the game, flooded with Rally the Ancestors, for example, then you're not, you're not gonna have a good time because everything is just gonna exile. But one cool trick you can do with Rally the Ancestor is that uh, you put a stop at your upkeep. Since this is a instant speed spell, play it on your opponent's turn during battle or end of your opponent's turn. You rally the ancestor if there's a priest of the forgotten gods in the graveyard. You can you get the priest of the forgotten gods back, and on your upkeep, you sacrifice two other creatures before everything gets exiled. So that's something you can do, but you generally don't want to play too many of these, even though rally the ancestor is uh, technically better than return to ranks uh, when you're trying to like all in combo. But I would say like return to ranks is a bit better earlier on like if like two creatures die or three creatures die right you can easily get it back without having to like worry about exiling everything so there's some pros and cons there but yeah fun little deck uh nothing too serious just wanted to do a fun little deck here uh because the ranked is uh right now filled with kunais i was playing a little bit earlier and i just got kunai to death like bunch of times and it was just not a fun time yeah that is gonna be it for the video if you guys enjoyed the video so far leave a like comment below subscribe and i'll see you guys all later bye bye